Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the expression tool and the articulation tool. But first, I'm going to show you how to uh, copy things. So using the selection tool here, if I click in a measure, it'll highlight it blue. And I could just drag that measure over here, and it would copy it. I'm going to Command Z and get rid of that. So basically, what I can do is this. I can um, hold down the Shift key, and just like if you were in Microsoft Word or something, you select all, as much or as little as you like. So you don't actually have to um, put in the whole measure. Like I could put in just this eighth note and put it anywhere, I mean that quarter note beat, and put it anywhere I want to. But if I want the whole thing, select it and they're selected so when I drag it over you'll see how both measures are um, selected in its in their entirety so when I drop it there they are if I were to drag it and mess it up like not put it directly on the within the the two measures it'll give me something like that which we don't want but if you do want that that's how you do it so now I'm going to show you some the basic ways of putting in articulation and expressions and then a few quicker ways. Okay, so if I come over here with the articulation tool and click, it brings up this menu. Okay, so notice I could just hit select down here and there's our staccato. We can keep going, and we could keep doing this all day long. And if we had a passage like this, let's say there it was uh, 20 measures long, we could be here all day. So when you click, notice the little S, the little blue letters, S, X, A. Basically, these are meta tools. So what you can do is hold down those keys while you click. So if I hold down the S key and click, it automatically puts the staccato in. Now, that is a time saver, but if we had a thousand of these to do, which could happen in an or uh, orchestral score, um, it would still take all day. So the quickest way of doing this, if I just grab the whole measure, if you want to do a bunch of them, grab the the whole measure I'm just using have the articulation tool selected and notice the little gray box when I let go it'll allow me to select whichever one I want so I could do accents hit select okay and then now everybody got an accent now it's very similar with the expression tool as well now normally you're not going to, I don't need a piano on every single one of these things, so if I just grab the whole thing it's not really going to allow me to do that. Because one piano will suffice until you tell it something else, right? So you don't need a mass uh, piano uh, or a mass dynamics tool. But the quick way of doing it is this way. If I click on it, double click rather I can pick what I want so forte I'm going to pick forte hit assign now notice it also had little blue numbers and letters around it so that little four for forte right and then it goes kind of counterintuitively the smaller numbers get louder and the larger numbers get softer. But either way, I can pick a 4TCCC, whatever, ECMO, and have that, right? If I hold down 4 and click, I get that. If I hold down 5, it gets quieter. That was a 6. Piano. I'm just going up the numbers 
all the way to zero. So if you want to assign your own meta tools, what you can do, it's different, a little different for the expression and the um, articulation tool. For the articulation tool, what you're going to want to do is press shift. Make sure you've selected the articulation tool. Then press shift and whatever letter you want to assign. So I'm going to press shift and G. And it brings it up and it shows me, oh, G is already assigned to this guy. The trill with the flat. But I want it to be assigned here. So I just click that, hit select. And then now, when I go back, you'll see that G is now here. You can't have... Uh, a meta tool assigned to two things. So G is now for this, not that. To do it with the expression tool, to assign your own meta tool there, you it's almost the same, it's just a little confusing. Instead of holding down the shift key while you do this, you actually click, double click. If I come over to Subido Piano and then I hold down shift and whatever button I want to it automatically assigns it so it's instant feedback the other way it's just a little different um, it's a little confusing so to sum up to assign here you have to click on here click on the articulation tool hold down shift and I'm gonna hold down G hold down shift and a key it can be a number key as well then I select the articulation I want and then now that's assigned here with the expression tool I have to click now I select the marking that I want to change and I hold down shift and then I'm going to change it to L instead of Largo having L. Now notice the Largo got away I mean went away. The L for Largo went away because um, you can't assign a meta tool the same meta tool to two different markings.